A single idea has the potential to change healthcare forever. And the UK has an impressive tradition of innovation that has transformed healthcare. I know about a hospital where they audited the use of gentamicin and in, in, 50, in a 50 patient sample, only two patients had their gentamicin prescribed correctly. So that's rather astounding. Hello, sir. my name's Josie, I'm one of the senior doctors. Um, I understand you've had some abdominal pain. Right. Josephine Cashman is a junior doctor and like many hospital-based clinicians, she often needs to prescribe gentamicin. The reason gentamicin is still used by hospitals is that it doesn't predispose to Clostridium difficile diarrhoea and is still effective against gram-negative pathogen bacteria such as coliforms and pseudomonas and it has some anti-staphylococcal activity. So because resistance hasn't arisen a great deal to it, it's still a very useful antibiotic. Gentamicin is a very powerful drug, but does have complications if given incorrectly and if the dose isn't monitored correctly. I think we're going to have to prescribe you an antibiotic, so I'm going to go and write that up and then I'll come back and give it to you in a bit, OK? Getting the prescription wrong can be dangerous, but calculating the dose the old way is a real challenge. There are three very complex mathematical equations involved in actually prescribing this antibiotic. Being a junior doctor, knowing the pressures on junior doctors, the amount of work we're asked to do, you know, the amount of bleeps we get simultaneously, it's so difficult to actually find time to do anything properly. And I thought, I, I can't imagine anybody prescribing this antibiotic properly because it's such a challenge, just all the mathematics involved. We have decided to take action as an antibiotic team and that action was mainly to make um, antibiotics training mandatory to all doctors on induction and that included uh, Foundation Year 2 doctors which Imran was one of these doctors. I was, I think horrified is probably the better word. Patients were being underdosed and overdosed up to an order of 150 milligrams. My background before I did medicine was in computer science that I did, I did a degree in IT and my, my specialty actually was in human-computer interaction. So I thought, well, it would be quite conceivable just to make a small calculator which would do all of this. So then I sat down and I mapped out how to prescribe gentamicin in our trust, okay, and that's what I came out with. And as you can see, this is just, you know, a losing battle. So this is the post-process map, <laughs> yes, after the gentamicin calculator. As you can see, it's a lot better. When I went home and over the course of a week, I greatly irritated my wife by spending <laughs> my evenings programming this calculator. So this is the whole calculator. Taking the example of the patient that we just saw in A&E, so his height is 5 foot 7, his weight is 75, his age is 85, his gender is obviously male, and his creatinine or measure of renal function was 110. And pressing dose gives you information about levels and who to consult if certain results are not available. And there we have the dose prescribed as 375 milligrams. Subject to all that information being available, it would take a doctor 10 to 15 seconds to calculate that dose of gentamicin. Hello again, sir. Come back to give you antibiotics. Oh. We did a baseline audit to assess gentamicin prescribing before we introduced the calculator. And the compliance with getting the dose correct was only 30%, 30. We'll just leave that to go through and I'll be back in a moment, OK? Okay. Three months later, we did the same audit and we got impressive results of 92%. So the progress was quite massive and that was also reflected for me as an antimicrobial pharmacist by getting only um, five or six incidents uh, per month compared to 60 to 80 incidents per month uh, prior to introducing the calculator. A natural progression because of the way technology is moving is to make things available on people's mobiles and portable devices because everybody has to some degree a smartphone now. So I developed the gentamicin calculator for the iPhone as an app. I've tried to mimic exactly what happens in the normal scenario but also to try to keep it as generic as possible for other trusts to be able to use it. There has been uptake from all across the world, people from America, Canada, Australia, Indonesia, India, lots of different places have bought it, so that's, that's, quite, that's quite nice to know. It is a technology that's been devised by those people who deliver care on a daily basis and is driven by altruistic motives. 
in a world where there is increasing complexity of medical therapy is the start of a new era of patient safety.